Hello and welcome to today's session. Uh, today I'll talk about the newly launched service, which is the Container Instances. Container Instances uh, help you run your serverless workloads, not serverless workloads, but like um, your containerized images without needing to maintain the underlying infrastructure. So for that, um, we go into the container instances, which are maybe that's too fast, container instances within the developer services. <clears throat> then create container instance, put in the instance name, select the availability domain, select the shape, um, select the networking and proceed further. To, for this use case to make sense, I have a uh, MySQL database running over here. I manage my SQL instance with a private IP right over here. <clears throat> and then, uh, so what I want to do right now is to install PHP, my admin, on a container instance so that I'll be able to manage that database. Um, again, for that, let's go to container instances. Then create instance, create container, my container in my compartment. I want this to be a one of CPU, which is the one core of an instance, which are two, C two vCPUs, eight gigs. I want this to be in my common VCN in a public subnet so that I want public access with a public IP. And then I will attach the web ports network security group for this that I created. And then any additional information, not so much. The container, I want the name to be PHP my admin. I want to select the image from the external registry, which is Docker Hub. But you can also have this to be your own uh, registry. So for now, I'll go with PHP my admin because um, there we go, index docker.io. Probably I'm aware of this. So PHP my admin is found is found to be here in the Docker official images. You can select whatever image you want. Select image, and then I will just put in the um, the environment value, which is the IP address of my database, my SQL database, databases, DB systems, my SQL, copy, go here, paste. And then you also have <clears throat> startup options like working directory, command, entry point arguments, and things like that. And then click on next, create, and done. The only thing we need to do right now is to wait for this to be initialized, which takes around a minute or maybe two. Work request, create container instance, still waiting. We can see all the metrics right over here. And you can see that the web ports network security group allows access from ports 80 and 8080. So this is just something that I created myself in the virtual cloud networks. There we go. Yes, succeeded metrics. Status is state is active and what I'll do, I'll go here, paste that, and here I have PHP one admin. I'll log in with the root. And here we go. And this just took me around, I don't know, two, yeah. minutes, two minutes, three minutes, and then I can just manage my database. Right over here I can just do move into whatever I want. Yeah. 
And also you can uh, go into your developer services into the container registry. I just have a simple uh, Docker test image here that I pushed a few minutes ago. Let me just refresh. It was more than a few minutes, but still. <clears throat> and then uh, when you go into the uh, developer services here, you can also use the images in the in the on, uh, OCIR to, I'm just not gonna fill everything up here, just click next and show you Docker image test and username and password, which needs to be a, the authentication token for the user. So yeah, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comments below. If not, enjoy the new service. <laughs>